This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, January 15th, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro continues to be confined to a consolidation with the market taking a back seat to broader price action and risk correlated currencies with the market defined between 110.60 above and 107.11 below. But with the medium term downtrend intact, a lower top is sought out at 110.60 ahead of the next downside extension below 107.11 and back down towards the 105.20. 21 December base. At this point, any rally should continue to be very well capped ahead of 110, while only back above 110.60 compromises the downtrend. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to trade just off fresh multi-year lows, the lowest level since 2010, with the market consolidating recent declines. But daily studies are highly oversold, and there is risk in the sessions ahead for some form of a sharp corrective reversal. Look for a break and close back above Thursday's high at 144.45 to strengthen this outlook and trigger the onset of a reversal. Until then, there is risk for deeper setbacks below the recent weekly and multi-year low at 143.52 and down towards the 142.30 area, which represents the next major support in the form of the May 2010 low. Dollar yen. So dollar yen has been consolidating recent declines, but the pressure remains on the downside with this market now focused on the next downside extension towards that critical August low at 116.12. At this point, with while the market holds below the recent low, recent high that we saw at 118.83, 118.84, that's the high from the 8th of January, the pressure will remain on the downside. Only a break and close back above 118.84 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss is showing signs of recovery this week with the market now trading up towards that critical September peak at 110.50. A break above 110.50 would open the door for the next major upside extension towards 115. At this point, any setback should be very well supported with only a break back below 107.15 to compromise the current recovery outlook for Euro Swiss. It is worth noting that the market had been in showing a contraction and volatility over the past several weeks until finally breaking up this week, which could warn of more significant moves over the coming weeks. Aussie dollar. So Aussie remains pressure to the downside with the market now contemplating a break below the multi-year low from uh, 2015, just shy of 69. But at this point, setbacks are looking extended, so the risk for additional significant declines below 69 are limited, with the market maybe potentially consolidating or seeing a bit of a correction before we see any resumption of declines. Look for any rallies, though, to be well capped up towards the 72 area. Ultimately, though, it is worth noting that while below 73.85 and 74, the market remains confined to a broader downtrend. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has exploded on Friday with the market trading up to 145.30, taking out barriers at 144 and 145 in a matter of minutes. But the market has now gone parabolic with daily, weekly, and monthly studies highly overbought. And there is risk over the coming sessions for a significant reversal back to allow for some form of a correction and for that to allow for these severely extended studies to unwind. Look for a close back below the current Friday low, which stands at 143.43 to trigger the onset of a reversal and open the door for more significant declines over the coming sessions. Look for any setbacks, though, to be well supported as the market gets back down to some previous resistance now turned support in the 138 to 140 area from where the next higher low is sought out. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has now taken out some medium term support in the form of that 64.29 low from the 18th of November. And this does set the stage for a retest and acceleration of declines back to, uh, down towards the, six, the 2015 multi year base in the 6200s. At this point, any rally should be very well capped up towards 67, while ultimately only back above 69 would compromise the bearish outlook for Kiwi dollar. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has been trading lower over the past several days under intense pressure in 2016. And the market is now showing signs of the formation of a material top and is focused on a retest of the critical flash crash low from August at 1834. At this point, look for rallies to be very well capped now by previous support now turn resistance at 1993 in the form of that low that we had seen, that range low going back to the 14th of December. At this point, only a close back above 1993 would force a shift in the outlook. 
gold. So although we've seen setbacks in gold over the past several days, the close in January above 1100 was a significant development and suggests that the market could be in the process of a shift in the structure and favoring upside over the coming weeks and months. At this point, though, we need to see setbacks supported above 1070 on a close basis to strengthen this outlook with a break back above the recent high in the 1112 area to confirm and open the door for an acceleration of declines towards 1200. Only close back below 1100 would delay or negate the current recovery outlook and put the pressure back on the downside, exposing 1046, below which would expose the more critical psychological barriers at 1000 further down.